Ladies and gentlemen, EETV Chemistry and Life started a new project. We are going to use an uh, uh, English version as well as the Chinese version. So when you're watching EETV Chemistry and Life, you're welcome to our new platform of the English section. Just in case you couldn't understand what I was uh, talking about in Cantonese. Today's project, I want to introduce you something very common and mundane, but we all have a love and hate affair. That is, eggplants. It is something so common, you, you probably never have some second thoughts on, well, just another vegetable. First of all, okay, it's not a regular vegetable. This is a fruit. Okay. This is actually is a fruit. There are many forms of this. There are Japanese, Italian, Chinese, um, you name it. And there are various sizes. What is essential among all the eggplant of this purple color? So as far as I'm concerned, okay, this purple color represents health. Before I get into the benefits of eggplants, I want to introduce a couple of concepts. Okay, and, um, I, and also I, I, I want to let everybody know that this platform, even though it's not immediately interactive, but it is not our intention to be the ultimate source for knowledge. And quite on the contrary, it is. It will be my pleasure for you to write to us. Okay. If you can point out some points that will be helpful, so you can go into the Facebook of ETV or YouTube, um, do whatever you wish. Now, let's get back to the concept. Before I get into the detailed chemistry, okay, of a plant versus eating and biochemistry. I want to introduce the concept of anti-angiogenesis. If you have a tumor, God forbid, or any unwanted growth inside your body, then this kind of growth always demands for new blood vessels to be made so that they can take nutrients from your body. But in order for this outrageous organism or tumor or whatever trying to invade your body, Okay, you can protect yourself by stopping the growth of blood vessels. And if a full adult, once you're mature as a human, as a uh, person, okay, and you don't really need new set of blood vessels unless you're pregnant or you have injuries. So if you're pregnant, you have injuries, and, um, and I don't advise you to take eggplant, but under all normal conditions, do so. Because there are chemicals in here, which I'm going to introduce later, that will do just that. It will stop the blood vessel uh, information and thereby quenching the chances of having tumor. Isn't that what we want? Furthermore, this purple color, the chemicals in there, okay, it's more than one. There are many, many, many of them. They are perfectly capable of quenching free radicals. Thirdly, I want to let you know a lot of our diseases in the modern day disease are related to free radical damage, for example, damage to your blood vessels internally around the epithelial uh, uh, membrane, or damage to the, the lipids and the blood vessels inside your brain. How, how you can protect yourself against that. It is not something you can just say it and you, it will happen. It won't. Okay? You need to take action to protect yourself against such free radical damage. And free radical damage we must because we're going we have to live. Our basic physiological condition will generate free radicals and our body sometimes cannot control them. One of them, for example, you go out for sun, uh, for a uh, midsummer, you know, uh, full sun, you know, suntan. 
In 20 minutes, you'll get your body burned. In 200 minutes, you'll have blisters. And these, a lot of these damages are very damaging, not because of the epithelial uh, uh, cell that's burned off. It was the secondary reactions. Your body thinks something's wrong that induces some of the deep tissue damage and scars. But there are ways, obviously, the, the, this, the, the, this inherently very important for cosmetic people, but my job is to say, how about go ahead and protect yourself against it ahead and afterwards. Aside from regular vitamin E, vitamin C, remember, antioxidation is the key to a lot of preventive medicine. And one of the key components, well, obviously I can delineate, okay, maybe 10 to 20 major ingredients in this eggplant, okay, that are distinctive and yet common in, in this plant that are antioxidants. It's loaded. Obviously, you can have, I'll take some blueberries uh, that would do the same thing, yes and no. Okay. Because of one chemical, it's called Nasuni, N-A-S-U-N-I-N. Nasuni is a uh, small molecule, got a couple of uh, glu sort of gluconic units, almost like glucose units that fit together. It's both hydrophobic and hydrophilic. There's a portion of this is oily, this portion of this is very uh, water-loving. So in that sense, it can literally swim through all kind of membranes, uh, all kind of, uh, it, I suspect it can go through the BBB, blubbering barrier, as a, inter, uh, as a molecule, just go in. It's even positively charged, even though with all the oxygen around it. So nasunin, is uniquely an antioxidant from eggplant and such eggplant and such chemical is God-given. There are no equivalent. This is simply the most potent antioxidant you can find and it is not expensive. I'm sure you've got many many ways okay to deal with this molecule to deal with this uh, 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 vegetable. Some, I mentioned earlier, this, the lovers, the haters, okay? Rarely you find them going in between. Now, for the lovers, think about having it more often, even juice it. For the haters, if you think it's due to the uh, uh, fat, it's due to the spongy nature, of the, egg, uh, of the eggplant to soak up too much oil or grease or the bitterness of it. I ran an experiment last night. I actually roast this whole thing in the grill. Okay, with a little bit of uh, coconut oil, but you can use butter, whatever uh, oil you choose, and roast it. Okay, it takes only 15 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. You've got a very delicious uh, eggplant and sprinkle a little bit of salt on it. You won't won't even have a hint of bitterness. It's as healthy as it can be. Simple dish. But perhaps one of the most potent vegetable or fruit you could have that beats perhaps blueberries and the like. All right? So for those, once again, for those who are pregnant, so be careful. This is not something you want to play with because of its anti-angiogenesis. If you carry a fetus, okay, you're going to need to grow a lot of uh, new blood vessels. If, you're, if you have surgery, you're going to need some new blood vessel formation. And that's the time when you don't want to take eggplant. But other than that, unless you have some other physiological condition that prohibits you from eating this, my recommendation is eat the darn thing every day. Thank you for listening and your comments on YouTube and ETV Facebook are always welcome. Take care.